Welcome to another chapter of Kotlin tutorial. I have decided to break down bigger modules into smaller ones which have a duration of less than 5 minutes. So you won't feel overwhelmed by the contents of each module. So today we will discuss how to declare and instantiate a class in Kotlin. Let us start. First of all let's create a new file and name it as person. So in order to create a class you have to use the class keyword followed by the class name. So this is how a class without any properties or method attached to it looks like. So let me give it few properties. In order to do that we have to put all these properties inside a block or something. So open and close the curly braces. I am going to give it two properties age and name. So name is equal to, I am also initializing it as well, I am going to give us a name as Annie and age as 32. So you have to understand that the type of the property must be explicitly specified when you declare a class. Also if you compare it with Python, declaring a property within a class doesn't create a class level property but an instant level one. Uh, let's see how to create an instance of the class person. For that uh, we have to create a main method. I'm going to name it as main method itself. I really hope you remember how to create a main method in Kotlin. Just type main and the id will auto fill it for us. I'm going to create two instances of the class person person A and person B. So let's see how to create an instance of the class. VAL person A is equal to class name and VAL person B is equal to person. So that's how you can create an instance of the class. Let us print the value of age in both the instances that is person A and person B. I'm going to use the println statement again age of person a is person a dot age slash n age of person b is person b dot age so let's print and see as you can see the age of person A is 32 and age of person B is 32. So when you compare Kotlin with Python, another difference is that every instance of name and age will start with an and 32. But in Python, we have to assign some value to these parameters to see the changes. It will not instantiate with the values an and 32. Now let's try to update the value of the property age of the instance person A. In order to do that, get the person A and dot age is equal to 42. So the default age was 32, right? So we are trying to update the value of person A A's age. So I'm going to copy the print statement again and let's run it. Now we can see that the age of person A is updated to 42. So this is how you can update the value of a property using the using any instance of the class. It is so simple to declare and instantiate a class in Kotlin. In the next video, we will discuss about constructors and initialization blocks. So if you really like this video, subscribe to my channel and click on the bell icon to get instant notifications. Also, if you have any doubts about this video, please comment. I will try to reply it as soon as possible. Thank you.